everyone, my name's Eliza and welcome to the first of a series of short gardening tutorials that I'm going to do for you. Um, I've been gardening for about four or five years and when I started I was really super keen. I read everything, every book, every magazine I could get my hands on, uh, watched loads of TV programmes and I kind of worried a lot really about doing it the right way. As I carried on gardening I kind of realised that there isn't really a, a right way to do it. There's lots of different um, viewpoints on what is the best way to um, to garden and really the best thing that you can do is to just one keep it simple and two just get stuck in and see what works. Uh, a lot of it is trial and error. Today though I'm going to show you a basic technique which is um, sowing tomato seeds. Now homegrown tomatoes are absolutely fantastic. They taste miles better than anything you can buy in the shops. So if you're going to start out with anything, I would, I would recommend starting out with tomatoes. There's two types of tomatoes. There is something called a cordon or an indeterminate habit, which is basically um, a tomato that grows very, very tall. Um, and these take a little bit of care because you have to remove any side shoots. Because if you don't, you end up with these long stems coming out the sides and you end up with this huge tomato lots and lots of foliage and stem not as much fruit so when these grow and they grow really easily you just need to make sure that you you keep pinching out those side shoots the other type of tomato is a bush tomato called a determinate tomato um, and these grow in a bush and once they're grown you don't need to do anything apart from pick the fruit when it ripens so today um we're going to be looking i'm going to be sowing three types of tomatoes today um Oh, my little assistant's here. Do you want to come and say hello? Hello. Hello. Hi, this is Toby. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be growing two types of tomatoes today. I'm going to be growing some, some cherry tomatoes, some small ones, and then also some, some larger tomatoes. Um, now, a, a packet of seeds will give you loads and loads of information. So if you don't have a magazine or, or anything, you can just use the, use the packet for the information. So it tells you when you sow it. Just leave that, okay. Um, and when you plant it out and when you harvest it and so on okay so tomatoes need to be sown um sort of around march april depending on um what the packet says so first of april today we're about about in the right place um so i'll just very quickly show you some of the, the um, different options that you have to sow in seeds and then i'll show you what i'm going to do this year um, and i've tried all of these different ways um, some with more success than others. So you can get these, these module trays, and these are really good if you want to grow, that's it, if you want to grow um, lots and lots of plants, okay? You can also get these larger trays with larger modules. Um, the problem with these is that, because they're all joined together, when your seed germinates and you get your small seedling, um, you can't then move that plant elsewhere, because it's it's all in one tray. So I don't use those so much now. Um, you can also get these, which are fiber pots. Um, and the idea with these is that you grow your plant and then you just cut off, hang on a second, cut one of these off and you stick it in the ground and you're not disturbing the roots by, by doing that. I've never got on with these. They've always just gone moldy. So I don't use those either. Okay. So were those made out of fiber? Yeah, they're made out of like cardboard. Oh, okay. okay. Maybe we could use these for crafts instead. Yeah, so what I'm going to try this year is I found this um, set, which is a, um, it's like a sort of holder, and inside you've got these little pots, and these little pots are actually pretty, pretty sturdy, they're pretty good, um, and the good thing with this is that you can take the pots out, but you can also, if you want to, carry the whole lot around, so that's what I'm going to use this year, and we'll see how yeah, we we'll get on okay right careful with that then okay. okay so let's get sewing then can you just pop those out of the way please just put them over there much here that's done okay um so i'm gonna start off here we go so in this bowl i have some compost okay what type of compost is this can you remember what it's called no okay so this is this is sewing and cutting compost oh. and it's designed specifically for sowing seeds Okay, um, it's a very, very sort of fine compost, uh, no sort of big lumps and things like that. Um, and this is quite good for two reasons. Yeah, but 
there is a big lump, but then you can crumble them. Okay, so this is good for two reasons. One is that because it's very, very fine, when the seed grows, obviously it's, the plant is going to be very small. Um, the roots can, can grow down into the pot um, and there's no big sort of lumps or stones that, that get in the way. The other thing that makes it quite um, useful is that it's quite low on nutrients. Um, so when the plant first grows, it doesn't need much many nutrients at all because it's very small. As it gets bigger, then you're going to want to put it into a bigger pot or the ground or, or something like that. But if, all, if you've only got multi-purpose compost, which is the cheapest and most easily available, then, then that's okay. That will work too. Okay, just use what you've got. So I'm going to put in some of this compost. Um, I'm just going to do one to start with and then we'll, we'll do the others later. Okay, so I'm going to fill it roughly to the top. Okay, and then I'm just going to tap it down. And there, I'm tapping it down so that I don't get any um, sort of air pockets or anything like that. But don't compact it because then it's difficult for the for the roots to grow. Okay, um, it will tell you on the packet what depth you sow your seed at. So this one says sow 0 0.5 centimeters or a quarter of an inch deep. Okay, so half a centimeter. Um, so I'm leaving a little bit of space at the top, which I'm going to cover with with compost. Now tomato seeds. Um, very very small okay um, they are tiny now some packets of seeds you get thousands like lettuces um, what other ones can you think of you get lots and lots in a packet radishes yeah you get loads of radishes carrot seeds um, so with these you can kind of sow more than you need tomatoes you don't get as many so this packet here let's see doesn't say on that one um, this one you've got 30 seeds so, but I have bought packets in the past which only had sort of like 10 seeds. So I don't use these liberally. I just, just try and sort of use what I've got. Having said that, it is a good idea to put two seeds in each pot. Um, especially if they, um, especially for some uh, packet that you've previously opened, sometimes you only get one of the um, seeds germinating. So I'm gonna pop two tomato seeds in. Just leave that, sweetie, because it's making a noise, okay? All right, so I'm gonna pop one seed on the pot there and then I'm going to take another of my seeds and I'm just going to pop it sort of next to it. I'm putting them, putting them both sort of fairly close into the middle. Okay. I'm then going to take some more, more of my compost. Yeah. And I'm going to just sprinkle that over the top. Okay. So I'm looking for about half a centimetre depth. Okay. Um, but again, you don't need to be exact on this. It really is. It, what, what you'll find with plants is that they, they will just grow I've got, I find tomato seedlings in my garden um, from last year's tomatoes that have just fallen on the ground. You know, they, they, plants want to grow, they will grow. If you've got a garden full of weeds, you know what I'm talking about. So don't be too sort of worried um, about what you're doing because it, 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 chances are it'll work really well. Okay, so there's my first little pot. Um, now, you need to make sure that you label, wait a second, darling. Okay, you need to make sure you label your tomato. Um, this is really, really important because you really don't want to get your cordon tomatoes, the big tall ones, mixed up with the bush tomatoes. And the reason for that is that um, the chances are you're going to be growing them in, in different places. So the, the big cordon tomatoes, you would need to grow those in the ground or in a raised bed or in a big pot. Um, the other tomatoes, the bush ones, they tend to trail and I tend to put those in handy baskets. Um, and if you end up mixing up your seedlings and you put a big tomato in a hanging basket, that's just going to be a complete disaster. Um, so, label everything. Okay, Don't think you'll remember what's what because you won't. I know that from experience. So I've labelled it tomato. I've put the variety Sweet Million. Um, I always keep the packet, even though this one is nearly finished, because it tells me what the habit is. So this is an indeterminate habit it's going to go really tall it also tells me um, what to do how long it'll, the seed will take to germinate um, what to do when it has germinated where to plant it and how to look after it okay so always keep your seed packets I tend to also write the date on here um, because I can see then if for example it, this one it says it takes seven to ten days to germinate so if in a month's time nothing has happened in this pot, 
I will know that this a chance the chances are that the seeds are not viable um, and they're not going to germinate and that has happened to me um, I have had a whole packet of seeds when nothing has come up it doesn't happen very often but it, it can do um, so put the date on it then you know when you planted that put that seed in um, so I'm just going to pop that in there carefully in the side okay you can get smaller ones of these as well all right now in terms of watering you can sort of sprinkle water over with a fine watering can the better way to do it though is to water it from the bottom okay so all you do with that is that you put your pot into some water so you could put it in yes in there darling okay so you could put it in a little um, bowl or something but what I've done here I've taken my growing tray okay it's a bit soggy it is a bit soggy that's right darling and I've got this um, seed tray here as well and I've just put the growing tray into into there so what will happen is that when I pop my pot in it's now sitting in that water okay and I'm just gonna wait it sometimes takes about 10 minutes but I'm just gonna wait and sometimes you will see the surface of the compost turn dark that's when you know this the compost is wet if you don't see that happen after about 10 minutes try lifting up the pot and you should feel it's heavier and actually I can feel that's already taken up some some water can you feel it yeah okay so after I've left that, I will then take it out. I'll just leave it to drain a little bit. Now, the, the last thing you need to do at this stage is you need to put these somewhere for the seeds to germinate. So you can get lots and lots of different um, things to this. You could just leave it in a pot um, on a windowsill, but I'm going to use uh, a propagator, okay, um, which is this little thing. Oh, and I think I might need to get a a different label because this one's a bit long okay I'll just take that out for a second so this is quite good hang on a second okay. darling okay so go on then you can sh you can show them then go on so you can open this to let it have sunlight and air that's right darling. Okay. So the advantage of the propagator is that it keeps, tomato seeds need quite a lot of heat to germinate, okay? Um, so it acts as like a little mini greenhouse. This lid does not exactly fit this, but it's fine. It, it, it will work um, well enough. Um, so you can get lots of different propagators. This is the one that I've got. And it's got this little ventilation system. So I'll start off with, with having that closed. As I, you know, a couple of days go on, I'll, I'll gradually open that to let a bit of air in. Okay, so what I will do is I will pop that on, okay? It's letting air in. It is letting air in, okay? So I'll just pop that on, and then I'm going to put this on a warm windowsill. I'll just give you a word of warning. Don't put it in direct sunlight, because when your tomato seedlings come up, they will just fry in that sunlight, okay? So you want it, the windowsill to be bright, you want it to be warm as possible, but not in direct sunlight. Um, and then that's kind of it for now. I so. You don't want them to fry, neither do I, okay? Um, so when your tomato seedlings come up, so I'm going to do a few more, sort out my labels. When they've germinated, I will then do another video and I'll show you um, what to do next. Okay, so that is, that's it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.